Let the words of my lips and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable to you, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. <clears throat> Never has been the children being in children's chapel been so obvious as it is today. The congregation looks very different with all the costumes or most of the costumes having left for a moment, and we'll get to that in a moment. Um, some of y'all are probably wondering why in the world is it appropriate to bless costumes. So I will tackle that in, in today's sermon. When was the last time you climbed a tree? It's risky. It takes effort. Today's story is a conversion story, but I want you to pay attention to the details. It's not as sudden as you might think. It takes time. Zacchaeus is a chief tax collector. I think that implies that he's probably responsible for many other tax collectors, so he is certainly... Um, you, you understand why the crowd is grumbling in the gospel. They're frustrated. Zacchaeus is a sinner, um, certainly in the eyes of the crowd that has been taken advantage of by the tax collectors and whose life is challenged because of the way that he lives out his profession. He's known as a sinner. He's short, so he... Um, I think it's probably important to notice that he has to, to push through the crowd. He wants to, he knows that Jesus is important enough that he wants to get a view of him, but he doesn't just get on the shoulders of one of his friends. He climbs a tree. Now, it's interesting, um, this is not a text. We had a private baptism yesterday, and one of the things that I often do is use the gospel for the coming Sunday with the families in case they, um, in case they don't come to church on that day, um, on the next day, so wanting them to hear the readings for the week. And so I hadn't, so in my preparation, was looking at this text in light of baptism. And what's interesting is Zacchaeus is a seeker. He wants to know about Jesus. And so he climbs a tree. And so what we talked about yesterday in baptism is that maybe in some ways, baptism changes our vantage point. It's like being in that tree where you see Jesus differently. I mean, think about that. That what we ultimately proclaim in baptism is that we're going to see the world differently. We're going to see the image of God in every human being that we meet. We're going to see our lives as sacred and holy. We're going to see our vocations as ways of living out our baptism. We're going to see our participation in community as differently. It's a different vantage point. So Zacchaeus is beginning to change. He pushes through the crowd. And then as he's in the tree... And Jesus walks by, he calls them out by name. He comes down, and then he says this thing that is fascinating to me. Now, I've been thinking about this in context of Christian community. I think that probably the hardest task of the church, honestly, is kind of living into this story. It's not the generosity. The people that are on fire are incredibly generous. I mean, this, this community is a generous community. The actual challenge of this story is the recognition of gifts within the individuals within the community. Because my hunch is there's two types of people here. Many of y'all are new within this community and, 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 and maybe Part of the drive to be here is you've been somewhere else that hasn't fully realized your gifts. Or maybe there's been experiences when you've tried to offer something within a community and it hasn't been received, and that creates this messiness, and we leave frustrated. 
It's not to get people to church. It's not the end. That's the changing of the vantage point. You come here, you come here as followers of Jesus or maybe seekers wanting to know something different. But the real work of Christian community, of the body of Christ, is to see the potential in each other and help unlock that. Maybe for some of you that is to be nourished by sacraments so that you can go out into your work and see your work differently, to recognize that you have the opportunity to care for people in a unique and different way. Maybe it changes the way you treat your employees or your customers or your students. For others, it's to, to recognize that you have a profound and holy gift to offer this body of Christ. Somebody shared, um, last week that it really wasn't until they started coming to, the, to the, um, the grounds days where they got to play with power tools and help take care of, care of the property that they realized that they had something to offer this community. It changed their relationship with everyone else. I mean, think about that. That's, that's a very subtle difference. But picking up sticks changed their relationship with everybody else or reading for the first time or being a Eucharistic minister, or teaching Sunday school, or serving on the vestry, or handing out candy to a preschool for trunk or treat. This is the fundamental story. The truth in this story is that Jesus recognizes a gift and potential in Zacchaeus. I want to stay in your home. Each one of you is embedded with the gifts of our faith. Whether that changes the way that we work or it changes the way we participate in this community, that is the responsibility of our community is to help each other live into the faith. Now, why are we about to bless costumes? Some of y'all have probably grown up in more traditional environments where this seems like an affront at what it means to be faithful. I'm making that assumption. But I think the reason it speaks to me is maybe Halloween is an expression of creativity, an expression of creativity. And when our young people and some of the adults come in with costumes, it's a recognition of their creative gifts of playfulness. Gifts that, that same creativity that will change lives, if not today, in the future. My challenge for our community today, especially in the season of stewardship, it's interesting that the story is not about the generosity it's not really about the generosity of Zacchaeus. It's really that flows out of the recognition of his gifts of hospitality. I know that it's difficult in a larger church to recognize all of the creative gifts of our community. It's challenging. Stick with it. Continue to find ways of reaching out and making offerings and let us help each other see our vocations and our life here together is the offering of what God has called out in each of us. Amen.